And boy, they did it right. They just busted us. The old Fox Pro X Wave strikes again, baby. Guys, welcome back to Southern Extreme TV. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. It is late season. Me and Guffy are getting prepped to go out of town on an out-of-state trip. Guffy hates out-of-state. I love out-of-state. It's fun. Uh, but we're getting prepped for it. We're going to a state that you cannot use semi-auto uh, bang sticks. Um, so we've got bolt guns. Me and Guffy are running bolt guns for the next couple of days trying to get ready for this this out-of-state trip um, And we just cracked a double so if you've not seen The previous episode then pause this video right here go back and continue Watching the episode before this and then jump back up here to this one because I think they're gonna be running good tonight And hopefully we can put a couple more dogs in the back of the truck. Thank you for hanging out with me hit the subscribe button Let's go shoot some dogs in the face, baby. Well, first spot we went to, fellas, we uh, pulled up, <laughs> set up, beautiful spot, rip a howl, a howl ends, truck comes driving up out of the bottom, bunch of coon hunters, so they beat us to the spot, what a big deal, super nice guys, we talked to them there for a minute, and they were like, we didn't hear anything, we didn't even shoot nothing coon wise, it's like, y'all go on down there and hunt, and we, we packed our Fox Pro and everything up and we headed over here. We've got uh, this farm and one more farm lined up for the night. And, uh, but hopefully they're two good farms. The only problem with them is they've got some educated coyotes on there, mainly from us. Um, and then the other farm could potentially have some pressure from somebody else. Um, so we might jump into that detail on down the road. But um, we're going to go down here and see if we get something stirred up. All right, guys, we're gonna ease down here. We just had a, a big group of coyotes light up in how, but I don't think we're gonna be able to call them into the field that we're in. There's another big field down there um, that I think we can get to. We just gotta walk a little ways. The problem is more than likely the dogs are gonna be behind us in a cutover. Um, there's not really a good place to set up on them without giving up our six. Um, so. We're getting ready to go down this gravel road. I gotta go lights out. Check check back in with you guys when I can. Thank <laughs> you. 
When a plan comes together, baby, I freaking love it. Golly bum, man, those dogs were, I'm talking to a T, where we thought they were gonna be at. We, we were on Onyx, and we, huge, huge reason why having good property is a big deal, because we, we set up where we wanted to kill them at, we heard them somewhere else, we were able to relocate and get set up, and we had to beg these dogs out. I mean, initially, in my mind, I thought the first initial kind of calling sequence, they were going to just kind of come bowling out, but it, it took some convincing, took some fights and things like that. And man, but when they decided to come, they came with a vengeance. Um, problem is I got mixed up. I, I don't know in the audio if I told Guffy to shift or if I didn't tell him to shift. Guffy thought I told him to shift. I didn't think I told him to shift. I probably did tell him to shift. Um, but the problem is the dog actually made it to where Guff needed to be, like Guff basically just needed to swing his gun barrel, and the first dog would have not seen him moving. But as soon as the lead dog kind of came out in behind a cedar tree, Guffy actually had his tripod legs picking it up and walking it around me because the dogs came in at like my seven o'clock. Um, so as they were leaving, I, I got on the got on the call real quick and changed just changed sounds just like that, just enough to get one of those dogs to check up long enough, and then I'll be dang if I didn't forget to take my freaking safety off. I'm still learning this bolt gun. It's only the second time I've ever hunted with it. Um, still trying to figure it out and just forgot to take my safety off. But Guffy got a shot off, absolutely torched this male coyote, and I hit exactly where I was aiming. Dog was dropping a little bit. Uh, dog was dropping and I aimed just a touch high, but I, I hit the coyote nonetheless um, And we got us a we got us a dang coyote down. So let's go take a look at it. it's a big old male, too Oh, yeah Oh, yeah, he's a trophy big and so guys, we're thinking this this dog right here is gonna go 140. Every bit of it. 140 all day. He's got a body of probably a 150. Probably you know he had some ground shrinkage, but he uh cold. he might be 145 and it's cold outside. It's cold. So you got to give him benefit of the doubt. <clears throat> Big headed coyote. I mean, just look at the size of the face on this coyote. And uh, I mean, we're not up north by any means. If you guys don't think that. A big, furred up, mean coyote like that is not eating your deer and your turkey, then something is wrong because this dude right here is absolutely decimating some deer and turkey numbers on this property. And the fact we were able to help this coyote out was a very, very big deal, or help this landowner out was a very big deal. So. Um, give you all a quick rundown. I know in the last video if you were watching you know that I'm running a Begara. This is actually a Begara. They don't make this gun anymore Which is kind of why I was a little freaked out when I found it uh, and, and just bought it kind of on a, on, a, on a whim but Guffy is running a Sig Cross. So this is Guffy setup still very similar to our AR, AR style So we still feel at home with the hoe grip um, Guffy's got an ambidextrous safety here really nice trigger and uh, it's got a really good bolt as well and then obviously we're able to link everything up with battery packs arca rails from fat boy um guffy is still running his fat boy and so um, let me see oh you guys you guys have not seen dun 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 the guffy turtle holding a coyote and look at the gun guys the old sig cross baby what a sweet, sweet little combo right there. That's an awesome, awesome sticker job. Our boy Bobby Parnell came up with that idea. But show you guys the tripod that I'm running. This is just for a temporary means. I'm testing it out. Made by a company called Athlon. Um, carbon fiber tripod, very similar to the Fat Boys. Built very, very similar. Uh, budget price points, a lot cheaper. But there's some things I like about it, some things I don't like about it. Uh, for the most part, I think it's a very, very good tripod for the money. Um, so stay tuned in the future. I'll be doing a more in-depth um, review of this specific tripod and the things that I like about it, things I don't like about it. And you can see that 
you know this gun spinning nice and easy and freely on its own and then when I stop moving it stays right there so that's one thing I really like about the ball head that actually comes with this tripod system and then we're running the Fox Pro X Wave gotta freaking love it what an awesome awesome night and what's even better about it is Guffy had to drag that dog that's what I really like that's the real victories you know Guff is when I get to shoot at the coyote but technically you shot him first yeah. and then you get to drag him because like I still I still get my What's the word I'm looking for? I still get my itch scratched. I mean, you hit him. But I was late. But you get to drag him. That's right. Yeah. I like him. I need to drag because I need to lose some weight. Guffy's on the weight loss kick, but you want to know why we're fighting an uphill battle? Look at this. Little peppermint, paydays, whatever these things are. This. Good old cookout box. Jerky. Gummies. Skittles. That's all in the back seat. That ain't even the front seat. Body armors. Sorry, I took Gus. Body armor's probably the healthiest thing we're drinking. <laughs> Body armor, we need to stop. Look at that joker, man. Just a big, on, big old dude, man. Yeah, I mean, you won't talk about, you know, short of me kind of jacking him up right there, but if you're going to get one caked out, that was a big male. Man, that one right there, that one right there, I just want y'all to look how thick and furred up this dude is beautiful beautiful coyote that's what we like to see right there love good next year <laughs> yeah we should have let him grow a little bit and then we'll show you all this coyote here that was from earlier in the night and this one was also from earlier in the night so we killed three tonight we still got one more spot to go uh, i'm not going to cut the video off we're going to keep we're going to keep the video going on this one and see if we can get some more action packed footage rocking and rolling so we got some intruders on the on the next farm yeah on the next farm they got word from the landowner today that someone had stopped in and left them a business card and he told them that somebody was hunting you know if if they do that, if you go to a landowner and they tell you someone's hunting, just leave it. Yep. Leave I mean, it, it. it's not worth the, the drama. I we, mean, you know, it, we everybody that asks us now to come hunt, like that's the first thing we ask them is, is anybody else hunting it? Yep. And if they are, you know, we've learned our lesson over the years. We've, you know, some landowners have put us in binds before and, you know, uh, but we, uh, We've learned our lesson. It's just better for everybody. If, if somebody else is hunting, let them hunt. Well, and the way we handle it now, if we run into that situation, is you know we thank the landowner for for the opportunity. Basically, just say you know, listen, if if it gets to a situation where they stop hunting or where you're looking for a change, you've got our contact information. You give us a call, but we're we are mainly only interested if if we are the sole people to have permission on that farm, and we just hope that other coyote hunters kind of give us that same due diligence of if they go on to something that we have permission on or and they might not even know it's us but you know you never know whose property it might be um just just be kind and courteous on, on that and you know use your best judgment the more the more people you know the more affordable that these thermals are becoming and the more people that are getting into it we're we're stepping all over each other's toes yep. and, and it's, it, it's 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 getting harder and harder to find land and and you know i just think that for all of us you know we're all better off if if the goal is to kill coyotes then we're all better off to uh you know just respect one another and stay out of each other's way agreed 100 percent. couldn't say it better myself we got three down one more property to go smack 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 let's go see if we can get some more down well guys that right there is it we got on a group of coyotes right there but we knew that it was gonna be pretty difficult um those coyotes have been very very timid the last couple times which is a farm that a la the, the landowner gave uh, some other hunters permission and we've noticed the last couple times that we've been going over there that we can get the dogs the answer but they're just going the opposite direction and that's that's typically a telltale sign that you're sharing that property with somebody else um, and that just that comes with it uh you know want to piggyback off what guffy said <clears throat> earlier in the video about you know if you, if you do get permission from a landowner and, and the landowner tells you that there's other people hunting it um you know try to back out um not saying that the answer is no but but the the conversation in my opinion should be you know if if that landowner wants a certain person to hunt that property 
then that certain person needs to be the only one hunting that property and and we try to respect that if we get a landowner and, and we tell our landowners the same thing if if at some point they want to change their mind and uh they want um us to hunt that property instead of somebody else that's 100 percent their call that's their land they can do with it as they please um and as long as we're the only ones hunting it then, then we're not stepping on anybody's toes um you know not trying to undermine anybody either but that's just the right way to handle it and <clears throat> it's just not how how things are dealt with but tonight i don't want to shake off a, a really good night because three dogs down i know you guys only seen this real big male shot tonight but Go watch the video before this where we knocked down this double, had other dogs running all over the place. Really, really fun night, really awesome when the dogs run good and we shoot good as well. That, that's a great combination. So really excited we were able to break in the bolt guns. Super, super fun. Ready, getting ready for this out of state trip. Hopefully uh, weather the rest of this week looks pretty bad. Might have one or two days, maybe the week after um, where we can go and hunt so maybe one or two videos after this before we make that out-of-state trip um, if not I'll see you guys uh, we're going to two states it's gonna be fun I'm super excited to go to go shoot some coyotes I think it's gonna be a really really good time uh, so if you guys are new to Southern Extreme TV make sure you hit that subscribe button we are trying to grow this thing to a hundred thousand subs and every click gets me just a little bit closer um, so share these videos subscribe means a lot catch you guys on the next episode